Kiki on the film with Camel Nits. It's Pops, y'all. Pops is in the building. We're back with another Man Stuff Monday. Man Stuff Monday is back. Dynamic yeah. duo. Mm, how you That's feeling? Good. How you feeling, man? It's no, y'all missed us. We missed y'all. I know, right? It's been a long time, long time. But you know time. what? Better late than never. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Always. Yeah, we back killing it. Always. But yo, so I, I, have, I, have, I have a question, right? And I need you to answer, right? All right, let's roll. So first I want to say, I want to give my uh, condolences to anybody who lost their lives in the Dayton shooting and also the El Paso shooting. Yeah. Um, Prayers are with the with the family and all those that, that's affected. Yes. Directly and indirectly. Yes. So, my question for you is, do you think we need to make gun walls stricter or more lenient to where anybody could carry? Or straight, like, you know, what do you think? The laws, to to my understanding, and, and my, just my personal opinion, the the laws are a, a lot over the states are. There's there's things in place. Yeah, I think that there there should be just more. There should be more restriction. Okay. Uh, but honestly, it's it's like to me from what it what it looks like. There's more. There is it's more. It's. It, it's more laws towards handguns. Yeah. But then you can go, and I, I was talking to mommy about this earlier. How can you go into anywhere, I don't care if you have a license or not, and buy military grade assault rifles? Yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't, I've never been able to understand that. Me neither, me neither. I've never been able to understand that. The, the, um. I okay, think you grew up by roughly 18. You can buy a rifle at 18. You can buy a rifle at, buy a rifle at 18. <laughs> handgun at 21. But the, but the thing with the rifles is, I'm, we're talking like serious military grade. Yeah. Wouldn't even, <laughs> why would you possibly need an AK-47? Yeah. I, I struggle with that one. Honestly, I really, really, seriously struggle with that one. Me too, me too. I, I, I look at, I struggle with it also because I feel like, so, I think that the, I, I think the laws should definitely be more stricter towards gun laws, uh, just because of how, like, it's been so lenient for the past few years, and you know people just feel like, well, you you could get a gun if you get your concealed carry, but people are still getting it. I think we definitely need to make it more stricter, um, because I, I this is something that's crazy to me. Did you know this? It's been 137 school shootings since 1980. 137. So that I means didn't people, know it was that many, but I knew it was too many. People are any at all to school. Is too, any at all is too many, but it's like it's been a and been a rash of like yeah. copycat type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. honestly, like I, was, I remember I was watching the um, I was watching the uh, uh, what was it? It was a documentary I think on the, the, the big school shooting that happened like in 2000s or whatever, and they was saying like. One of the guys was just like, he, he asked for a shoot. He's like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm just having fun. Like, how are you, you know, you're killing somebody. How do you consider that, you know? So I definitely feel like gun laws should definitely be way more stricter than, than, than you know, than how, than how it has been for the past years. Uh, my other question to you is, do you think teachers should be able to carry? Before you move on to that one, okay. I have to. I, I want to say this. We can have... We can have the strictest laws, the strictest reinforcement of laws, but we have to start at home. That's a fact. We have to start at home, even if it's not, even if it's not the parents, or, or it, it didn't even have to be your child. But we have to start reaching for each other. Yeah, I agree. Be it if it's if it's your child, if it's your child's friend, yeah. if it's a friend of a friend, if it's somebody that you didn't that that, that you see is kind of going down the wrong way that lives in your neighborhood, we have to we have to be willing to reach yeah. for each other mm -hmm. and 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 help it out and start one person one day, mm -hmm. one kid one day at a time. I agree. We have to. I definitely agree. We I have to agree with that because I go I I. I remember I went to school with some kids, and you could tell that they were already going down the wrong path. You sit there, you like, man. Nowadays, it's like a lot of people, they don't, like, 
they don't the 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 fear like yo you don't give life it's like it's this the only life a, that you give you know you not, get it's not a, a fear of dying nah nah and it's not a not a respect for life no 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 which is it which makes it even more important for not only for for us individually to re reach back we need more more mental programs yes I know. there's there's people there's a lot of, a lot of people that's out there that's, that want to help and want mm -hmm. to help mm -hmm. got to be honest you really don't you you hesitate in yeah. those moments because you don't know how to be received if it will be received mm -hmm. not only from the not only from the child but from the parents that's a fact <laughs> yeah you know some of it is learned behavior stuff that they're seeing mm -hmm. So you really don't know how how it'll be perceived, but you know that does not mean that we don't try. We have to we have to remove that fear out there, yeah. and, and 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 really pray about it and trust God and then and and actually try and, and reach out. I understand. We can. We have to. So another question for you, as a parent, right? As a parent, how would you feel if? if if, you, if the teachers at church, like, say if, if we were younger, like mm -hmm. third or fourth grade, how would you feel if you if you came to school and teachers had weapons on them? How would you feel? I would really, really, truly be concerned. Really? Because I, I think, um, my personal opinion, I, I think that if, when, when teachers are put in situations where, where they worry, they worry more about their safety. Mm -hmm. I think it takes away from the learning environment, and mm -hmm. I think it takes away from them being as proficient as, and efficient as they could be yeah. or should be as a, as an educator. That's a fact. Yeah. yeah. If if you if you can't if if you can't really get through writing a lesson on the board without you constantly turning around and watch and watching your back, you're taken away from. From, from yeah. teaching and no fault to the teacher and I know that it, that's real yeah. but that's the scary part about it that is because it's like the, the and that's one thing I I, I love the because I feel like honestly I think a lot of the, something that's going on with like today's generation is like the, the stuff that's put out into media like in terms of like the gaming you got the games that are you guys go to Mario and stuff yeah I mean, Mario, Mario was brother, chill Donkey Kong and Pac-Man you know we got uh like I was I love the game Fortnite but I was just watching and I'm just sitting there like Jesus Christ these kids are really being exposed to this this early like I played with one kid he paused he was like six and I'm like he was like yeah I got like a hundred wins I'm like Jesus Christ like this is when I was when I was young, I was I think I was playing I was playing Need for Speed when I was younger. Me Need for Speed and Mario when I was younger. And and to that point, there's a lot of there there's been a lot of scrutiny in the in the gaming world yeah. because of it. Because of it. Yes. Yes. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, it as it, it makes it tough mm -hmm. on the parent. I mean, of course, why would you want your kid, you know, playing that type of game? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and of course it's up to the up to the parent and that's their decision whether or not they allow it but it, it puts a parent in a, t in a tough spot yeah you know you sitting playing video games where the object of the game is to kill as many people as you can yeah it's yeah. it's tough it's very it's tough, tough. It's very tough and then you also be put into a predicament like say if you go to school and they like yo you didn't play the new game because i remember when all the new uh new Call of Duty maps to come out and they'd be like, yo, you didn't play it. And I'm like, nah. And they'd be like, yo, you trash. You should have got the new map, man. I ended up killing like 300 people this weekend. Yeah, you like, yeah, see, it, it, I was into 2K, you know. So another thing, so what do you feel is the proper, what 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 do you, so as, you know, as as we get older, you know, as me and Key get older, what do you feel would be like the proper uh, protocol for like carry of weapons in the future? Because now it's more, yeah. To actually carry a weapon in the future? Yeah. Because I honestly, I, I feel too, because I feel like nowadays, I mean, you could get weapons wherever. I mean, if you want to get a gun, it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, anybody could get a gun. But do you feel like they should still have the, the law where if you're like an ex felon you shouldn't carry a weapon? Or what do you feel about that? Honestly, 
Yeah. I think it. I think. I think God's need. God needs to be more in it all. That's honest. If if I, I if I was to really truly answer you, answer you really really truly from my heart, that's my answer. I think God needs to be in it all. Uh, if if you look at just the trend of things that happen in schools and and just overall, the more. And I'm not trying to make this no sermon or nothing or, or trying to, you know, push this into that. But I have to ask it honestly, when you taking when you when you taking prayer out of the classroom, it things changed. Yeah, things changed. I, I just have to be honest. That has to that's first and foremost. All right. But now to get to the part of your question. Um, it is they definitely are trying to they they have programs in place concealed carry things like that 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 forces you that forces the person to have to be trained mm -hmm. in a certain way not just in the, not just reading and 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 repre and com comprehending what it is that you have what it is you have to learn about it is actually hands on knowing that safety yeah because safety is first uh, safety things like that and being able to handle it properly. I think mm -hmm. that's important. I think they need to tweak it a little bit. Yeah, it needs to be a little longer yeah. than what it is. It's like really, really, really condensed. Um, and it, but it's the first part of it. I think they'll get it figured out. I think as time go on, they need to make it longer and more in depth. Yeah, because I I look at it. I remember, uh, I remember when uh, growing up, right when. We were told that we couldn't do something. We wanted to do it even more. So I've always had that thought that if you know, if you lean, like make the, the gun laws more lenient, I'll think like people would be like, oh well, oh, I don't need to kill. I'll just fight you. You know, my, uh, one on one. But I don't know how to, you know, because as a kid, like I said, as a kid, I used to. Mom say, oh, you couldn't go outside. I'd be like, mom, can I please go outside? So then when I go, I <laughs> what got you to, say you can't do is the main thing. You yeah, want to. that's the main thing you want to do. But then <laughs> you want to try to use it for reverse psychology, <laughs> right, man? And so I'm like, I, but you know what? I I get your logic, but that'd be tricky though. Yeah. That'd be tricky to have it more relaxed and and kind of see where it falls. Mm -hmm. That's kind of something that you don't really want. I don't know necessarily if you want to gamble with it like yeah, that. Yeah, because that's that's it definitely gambling with you know a lot of people's lives yeah. and safety, which is and, something. And, and and let's be honest, when it when it comes to something like that, the ones that's doing, uh, the ones that's doing the the, the harm in people, they're not getting them legally anyway. Yeah, uh, that's <laughs> they really not. That's a they're fact. They're not. They're not getting them legally anyway. So the 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 rules is is only gonna apply to those that's abiding by it. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> only gonna apply to the ones that's abiding by them. I, I I think it. You know, one thing to that point where you can start is is really, really, really coming down on the ones that's not. Following by the rules and, and the laws that's put in place. If you get caught, man, you it's no misdemeanor first offense. No, I'll throw the book at him. Okay, so <laughs> throw the book at him. So do you, you, feel you like, have to be you have to you you have to start there. Mm -hmm. So do you so do you feel like they should implement the stop and frisk? Never heard of that. What the stop and frisk is a law to where if the police feel like. Um, like they, you just walking down the street, and they just like, you know what? We can stop you and frisk you, like to search you. You know, do you they doing that anyway? That is a fact. <laughs> they doing that. They anyway. do it. They do it. They anyway. make up something to say, oh, we have probable cause. They doing that anyway. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. They doing that anyway. That is a fact. That is a fact. Yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough. We don't live in the in the in the in the inner city per se, but yeah. you know we. You know, we tend to go in, you know, areas and we, you know, see family or whatever. But it's yeah. it's problem pockets, I call them, everywhere. Yeah. It doesn't matter, yeah. It doesn't matter where you are and you always just have to have to be careful. Yeah, because, so this this all arose, uh, arose from, so I'm in like a group chat with some of my friends who live out of state or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the friends that I know, she lives in Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, I think she lives in, she's from Dallas or something. And we all just texted. She was like, uh, Cam, you, you live in Chicago. What is your thoughts on gun laws or whatever like that? Because a lot of people just feel like Chicago is just a terrible place. <laughs> um, 
As and I just said, it's problem pockets everywhere. It's problem pockets it everywhere. Doesn't it, doesn't matter, matter. it doesn't matter what state you in, you you gonna have some problem pockets. Yes, yes, yes. So I, you know, I just told her I was like, you know, I feel like we should definitely make the gun laws a little stricter. But then it's also, I had that thought like as a kid, like man. The more mom told me I couldn't do it, the more I wanted to do it. But then when it became like legal, I mean, not legal, but when it became like, say going outside, once she was like, all right, you can go outside, you don't have a curfew. I'm like, oh, well, I got, let me be at the house by 10 o'clock. I'm 20 years old and I still live by that. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I mean, I definitely feel like that is something that we definitely need to work on, especially with these two big incidents happening, and then with 137 school shootings since yeah. 1980, yeah. which is what, 50 years? Well, not 50, 40 years almost? Yeah. 40 years almost, wow. We have to, as I said in the beginning, that we, we have to we have to reach for each other. Yeah. We I have like to step out, out of the comfort zone yeah. and being uh, being worried what will come from it. Mm -hmm. And really just, just trust. Trust and step out there and try. We have to try. We have to start now. Yeah. It, it really appears that, you know, it's so much... Uh, so much hatred and evil going on that we have to we have to reach for each other and we have to band together I agree. and 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 really really truly uh, put the love and peace and positivity mm -hmm. back in the world because it's, it's too much negativity floating around it is. And, and we can now we so can. you don't think we can yes really yes absolutely yes we can there's nothing there's nothing that, that, that we can't do as long as if we're doing it godly and we're praying about it and, and and really, really stepping out there. We can't step out there and be scared. That's a fact. I agree. That's a fact. We can't step out there and be scared. That's not a way that's not a way to live your life. I'm not saying step out there and be fighting, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But I'm saying well, doing it in a godly before. way. Right. Yeah. I'm saying that doing it in a godly way. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and reaching back and starting if if you see if you see a kid that you see kind of, you you because you can always tell those kids that just they with the wrong group, mm -hmm. and they kind of stand out because they're not really being themselves, but they trying to stick with who they hanging with. Mm -hmm. Those are the kind of ones you start there and reach out for them. Okay. Try to get them. Try to get them to see the positivity and the, and the, and the love in the world again. Because mm -hmm. you never know what they see in their home or what they you know what they're exposed to. I agree. I agree. I agree. One person, one day at a time. Yes, we can do it. Yes, we can. Yo, you should run for president. Nah, that's a sound like a president. Like, yes, we can. <laughs> Yo, bro, part two, pop man. Yeah, nah, I, I feel like running for president. That's yeah. that's uh, politics is so not my style. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I love debate, but nah, 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 politics so not my style. But uh, thank you for you know, you know, talking with me. This about one really this. caught me off guard. Boom, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this one caught me off guard, y'all. I didn't I didn't know what I was sitting down to. With Cam is really no talent. But I, yeah, I a lot of people thought we were gonna be like talking about sports. Nah, you yeah, know, some I, I didn't into other I had no around. idea what was coming, but I'm, yeah. I'm glad we had the we had the chat, you yeah, yeah, know. Of course, of course. Glad we had the chat. Yeah, Cause you know that's some I also I think that's I think that's something that needs to be pushed out more is just the I mean father son bonding. You know, when you when, when people think about the, the you know the family dynamic especially in our community a lot of people just think like oh well, it's the mom raising the son and they you know a lot of people probably don't even if they don't have a father I feel like this is something where they could you know gain information you know you never too old to learn you never you know it's always an outlet for you know you always can find the outlet with mm -hmm. whatever you're facing if you're feeling like man I don't have nobody to talk to YouTube is just a Broad, you know, mm -hmm. a big site to where you can look up anything, and, and that's, that's something the thing, that you don't have to have. It doesn't have to be your son to have a father son bond. Yeah, that's a fact. That's it a fact. really, it really does not. Yeah. You know, I, I something I speak to all the time. You know, I I've I've really really been blessed in that space because I have my dad, who I argue I probably had the best dad in the world. Yeah, but then also too. He had a man, my uncle rested rest his soul. My dad's older brother 
I, I don't know what it was. It's not like he didn't have kids, but him and I just, man, from from me being really little, yeah. he just really like took to me. And, and when, you know, even when they, sometimes it'd be moments, it'd be like, well, you know, he called me Spider. I could, I could you know, as a kid, right. he'd call, you know, I remember back in the day, he'd call and i hear my him and my dad talking, be, man, I'm coming to get Spider on Friday. And my dad would be like, well, tomorrow we're supposed to blah, blah, blah. And they would be going back and forth, you know. So I was I was really, truly uh, blessed in that space. And, and to that point, I can say that it doesn't have to be your son. You That's know, if it's somebody that you want to reach for, you want to pour into him, man, male, female, doesn't matter. Yeah. We, uh, we just have to reach for each other. Yeah. And I that's like real that. talk. I feel like that's a fact. That's, that's a real fact. talk. That's a fact. I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. But before we close out, thank you for coming on here. You know what I'm saying? Your boy was speaking at Thank you for you. having me. And you know what I'm saying? Well, I appreciate it. Man. Monday, so we have to bring <laughs> yeah. it back. Yeah, do what we do. We have to bring it back, but um, <laughs> we missed y'all. Yes, yes, yes. We missed y'all. This, you know, we're family channel, but man, this this brings a, a different flavor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got the swag dynamic style. duo in the building. But yo, we want you. We want you guys' opinion on it. Uh, whatever you guys feel about whatever we say, if you guys agree or disagree. You know, you guys' opinions means you know it means a lot to us. It means everything to us. We yeah. we, we make sure that we we. We collectively, all as a family, we go through the comments together. Yes, and and we share and have conversation about it quite a bit. So we please make sure you stay interactive with us. Yes, and uh, let us know what you think. Yes, please, because I mean it is a serious topic. Uh, but and lastly, once again, we would be remiss. We have to say it again. Our thoughts and prayers go out to those that's been all that's all been affected. Yeah, be it indirectly or directly, because if, when you. When you think about it, right? You know, we all have those moments where where you just have to take a pause and think. Man, if I'm just in Walmart. Man, <laughs> if, man. if I'm if I'm in Walmart, or something like that. So you know, it, it has an effect on on everyone. So yeah. our, our thoughts and prayers go out, go out, and um, let's reach for each other. That's yes. what pops. Yes. But honestly, going back to that, not to you know, take the mood down or whatever. But I remember. A Sandy Hook shooting, right? Mm -hmm. That was uh, and I was a freshman in high school. Never forget it. Uh, so I'm like, I it was one day that I think it happened like that Friday. It's some somehow it happened during the day, mm -hmm. and like in my sixth period class, my teacher's like, yeah, it was a shooting in, in Newtown, Connecticut, mm -hmm. and he honestly, this teacher, he was so mean, but that day he was like, he really just broke down or whatever. And we were like, oh my god, what, you know. That's the but to sit there, I remember I used to always, every morning, I used to ask my mom, like, man, can I stay home from school? And it's just like the simple thought that you can't even go to school mm -hmm. or, you know, or even go to Walmart. <laughs> like, yeah. we just go to Walmart, like, for, oh man, I need a new charger. I need a new laptop charger or whatever. Or a new game or anything. You go to Walmart or even like a church. A church. Yeah. People are shooting up churches. It's, Movie theaters. You like, real. you sit there, you like, the stuff that we used to take, you know, well, back in y'all day, you know, y'all say, like, we well, could do this and that. A lot of these kids now, they like, like, my kids probably won't be able to go do certain things that I was able to do, mm -hmm. you know. And you really sit back, you just like, you know, you definitely have to keep God first and, you know, everything, you know. And that's one thing mom was, and mom, you have always taught us is, like, before you leave the house, always pray for, like, coverage over you and your family. But cause it, I mean, that doesn't make sense. Like I'm going to Walmart, and you know, yeah, that's why twenty I said people to, died or something like that. To those that that's affected directly and indirectly, yeah. and that's what I meant by the indirectly. Yeah. Because there's yeah. there there's some that will be afraid. Yeah. Uh, be afraid. That's why that what you just said to that point that prayer um, before you leave and that and and trusting that. Prayer where you're not living in fear. Yeah, yeah. Where well, you're not living in fear, but it's tough. It, it's definitely it's tough. tough. It's definitely tough. But we love you guys. Can I say? Well, please, please, please don't forget to check out the Epic Empire. The links will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to check out the Love Thing. The links will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to check out the best game on channel ever. The ladies love and the fellas want to be it. Caminated Games. My link will be in the description box below. And Keysway. <laughs> now I'm just kidding. And Keysway. Her link will be in the description box below. Again, I say we love you guys. I mean, give us your feedback, yo. I mean, your opinion matters. Your, the world, your so. opinion matters. Yes. We'll yeah, catch you in the next one. We love you very much. God bless. Adios, amigos.